Hello friends, this is your friend Sakib, and today I am here with a new YouTube video uh, making of uh, digital <coughs> clock. Okay, so uh, we have made here digital clock, so I will be uh, showing you the feature. So this digital clock which we have prepared, it has uh, it displays the week, date, time, and alarm. Okay, so. This is a one of the digital clock. You can say this one more digital clock over there. Okay, you can see the same date Sunday. Today date is 20. Okay, you can see the time over here. So the most thing is uh, most beautiful thing is that see uh, we can build we can build any body over there. So one I have made it into the wooden box uh, and one I have taken into the acrylic box. So as per your wish, you can adopt any body for this okay let us see the little description over here so i've got one pcb board which i have already designed okay to design this pcb board the detail of the circuit diagram okay it will be mentioned into the last slides of a video over there or it will be mentioned into the uh, description below over there now for this uh, to build this digital clock you require the most the heart of the circuit uh, that is a microcontroller. So here I have used 89S52 or you can go with the 89C51 or 52 over there microcontroller over there. Okay, but obvious uh, You need an, a hex file of a program to burn this uh, so you will get a hex file in the below description You can download easily and you can burn it second you required uh, Display 16 by 2 LED display over there LCD display base of the IC most important thing then you require the RTS okay real-time system okay so this is DS 1037 RTS which is easily available over there buzzer and many small components like resistor diode and uh, pot uh, potentiometer preset etc etc you require this so all this detail you will get into the description below or uh, you will get a detail of the circuit diagram at the end of this video over here so you can download it you can take a screenshot of it and you can download the hex file i'll show you how to burn the hex into the microcontroller okay so let us start with today's uh, activity okay so at the start uh, let us uh, uh, start with activity i will uh, just let you or i will guide you how to burn the hex file into the microcontroller let us see how to burn a hex file into the microcontroller okay uh, for this you require the burner kit over here there are many kits are available over here in the market you can choose anyone so this is my microcontroller that is 89 s52 so i have locked it over here now i have to open software so supporting software of it okay now you can see here okay so here the first upon I have to select the device which device you are going to burn so it is already 89s52 so so there are many devices over there so this uh, Microcontroller, uh, okay, this burner kit can burn EPROM also, 89 series also, 89V, 89S, etc, etc, SRAM, DA, uh, DRAM, etc over here. So here I am selecting 89S52. Okay, you can see here, I have got it selected. Now, already I have given the hex file into the downloads below the YouTube. You can download that. So, just take the hex file over here, open it okay before burning anything you have to erase the last data in the chip it is better for that it won't give you any error okay so you can see here erasing is completed over here uh, so after the erasing you can select the hex file so hex file is completely loaded into the software now you have to burn it so that is programming part over here so so this is how we burn a hex file into the microcontroller. So this is the first step. Once we finish with the hex file burning in the microcontroller, let us go through the hardware. 
Okay, friend. Let us see the hardware soldering activity over here. Okay, so I've got a board over here. Okay, uh, detailed description of this you will get at the end of the video over there. You can download it, and you can see all the component placement activity over there. So details over there. So you can easily will get each and everything over there. Okay friend as we you can see that now we have finished all the soldering work over here <coughs> I've connected even the display over here Microcontroller already we have burned this is RTS this is CMOS battery buzzer alarm over here and I have connected the switch over here okay so let us power on so you can apply a 9 volt uh, or a 12 volt adapter over here so once I keep the adapter over here see it will display as a digital clock okay now you can see the timing or already have made some settings over there so today date is 22 okay 22 2022 it is sunday 11 38 am over here see already it has been done over here now uh, there are different packing box you can make over here or you can say outer box so here I have made of acrylic so you can take acrylic sheet which is easily available in the market cut according to the requirement over here or you can make a use of wooden box so here one of the LCD I have taken in a wooden box over here and I fitted everything in the wooden box so this wooden box is also easily available in the market if you go to the electrical shop you can see this this is very easily available you have to just make a cutting uh, you have to cut some parts with the help of some professional carpenter over here and you can see here so so there are n number of types or there are variety of the way you can build a body outer body or outer cover for this uh, project over here so the details of the circuit diagram uh, will be displayed after this video and uh, even uh, the layout okay so you can download it and you can go through it and if you required uh, the PCB for this uh, you can put uh, the requirement in the comment uh, along with your mobile phone number so we'll surely reply you thank you